Hello, this is Tom Carhill. It's 12.42 on Saturday the 6th of May 2017. Right, um, this is quite an interesting article that um, I've been, you know, pointed out to me by Thomas barden Reese. right? Uh, I don't know, he does some, some quite interesting videos. I don't really agree with him on a lot of stuff, but, you know, he's got quite an original an original stance, the way he gets at things. Anyway, this, 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 this uh, particular article he's linked to I've just looked at it and it's the University of Huddersfield uh, and this was published in February of 2017 right and this is the thing he's just I don't know he hasn't sort of explained exactly how we would do but he's pointed out this is an absolute outrage that their <coughs> their motto is inspiring tomorrow's professionals which you can see here I don't know if you can see me pointing this with the mouse but yeah it's there and They've got this guy um, who I've tweeted to, this professor or something, and he's basically running this course and he's advertising this course as like a psychology course. And one of the highlights of the psychology course is totally unintellectual. It's using like text language and slang and pejorative term, terms to try and actually entice people onto doing what to overtly overtly a pseudoscience course which is completely unscientific now you might think well that's just what university is all about well i would say yeah it can be but the point is there's two reasons this is very much worse and this is a bit like the issue with donald trump versus hillary clinton donald trump never said that he would declare war with any country before he got in no one i don't think anyone's ever said they would declare war with somebody to get in especially on the lefty the lefty ticket which Hillary Clinton seemed to get in on um <clears throat> it's the same it's like they're actually using text language pejorative bias terms <clears throat> false paradigms to you know base research on it absolutely you know it's really really bad so I'll just read through this right so exploring the world of the Madeleine McCann trolls right so Trolley insult and abuse was constant, repetitive, and in clear violation of Twitter policies. Through user accounts were rarely, though user accounts were rarely suspended. I'm not exactly sure who said that, but um, they don't really explain it. I don't think. But anyway, the point is that Kate McCann was using obscene, offensive language, talking about the um, Portuguese police. Um, you know, using profanity and stuff to describe them. She was doing that during the investigation, and she was putting it in a book. So it wasn't like she just said something. I mean, obviously the whole thing is completely fitted up and it's distraction news. But the point is, it's been put on the record that she she's um, you know, like actually describes things. She's it's, it's basically distraction. It's more distraction in her case. But she has actually used obscenities and stuff to describe people who are purportedly just doing their job. So that's inappropriate. Um, it's not inappropriate in the context, you know, in every context, but it's not, it's not to actually have that going out on the record. That's, that, that's not good. And she's not just some person at home commenting like me. She's, um, allegedly had a kid go missing and, um, then she's refused to comply with the police bullshit police investigation. So it's actually inappropriate. Yeah. Totally inappropriate on every level. So, but now this is coming into academia. Now, when you're doing a study, you've got specific words that you use which aren't normally in the common vernacular, or often aren't, because you want to not prejudice anything. So you don't want to use words that are loaded or that have anything biased, you know, related to them. So if you're saying exploring the world of the Madeleine McCann trolls, right, let's say you were going to say we're going to use the word troll well you shouldn't use that word anyway because it's biased it's like text language it doesn't mean anything it's just a made up word right that doesn't mean anything what you'd have to do is you'd have to say we're going to consider the target group of trolls are anybody who does this and this and this and this and that the point is kate mccann's already been using foul mouth expletives about the detector the detective who was trying to help find out what happened to her daughter so she'd be the top person wouldn't she immediately of course she would but of course they'll just ignore that yeah right so anyway they've got this first line 
and they're saying, you know, constant repetitive in clear violation of Twitter policies, though user accounts are very rarely suspended. It's just nonsense because what happens is Twitter do take down tweets. If if you if you make a tweet about anyone who's kind of like got any kind of clout, that that tweet will get taken down. Trust me, it's happened to me in the past. They do get taken down. They 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 suspend certain people's accounts, but that's quite rare. But they often just you know like will remove tweets. And they'll give you a warning, but they won't tell you why. Because the thing is, what you said is true. They don't, they've got no way of fighting it. They're just Twitter is a totally insider thing. It's not alternative. It's totally insider, and they've put it up there to try and weed out what people want to say about things. But the problem with it is, is that if you ever actually say anything that's a bit too close to the mark, that say could take a politician out of their job or something, and this isn't part of the agenda, they're not going to let you have that tweet up there. Don't be stupid. Now, Lily, Lily Allen, I don't really know much about Lily Allen. Um, I know someone who used to know her. And she's just rolled out to say stupid stuff all the time. Now, it seems here, it says Lily Allen, if you look at the photo, Lily Allen said that she was leaving Twitter after Trolls Cause taunted her about a stillborn son. Ken McKay um, Rex features or something. Now... You know, like, let's just say she's had a kid and she's lost a kid. Well, that's very sad, and it's obviously totally inappropriate for people to be um, saying inappropriate things about it, if that's actually happened, and it's just not some kind of stupid psyop where they haven't. But if some random nutter, and she's got, I think, maybe more than a million followers on Twitter, if some random nutters, one out of a million, literally one in a million, or two in a million, or, you know, less than one in a million, have said something unpleasant about her um, alleged loss of a baby. Does that mean you'd want to change the law? It doesn't really make any sense because if you get some loony, it's a bit like if you go into the pub, go into the pub a thousand a thousand nights on the trot. Um, you'll get some lunatic come up and just start fighting you. At some stage, it will happen. At some stage, it will just happen. Does that mean you don't go into pubs because one in like you know? Well, in Gillingham, where I live, it's probably more like one in five. But, you know, they get off their head and they just start fights on people. Does that mean you should ban pubs? I mean, it doesn't, does it? Because 99% of people will never just go and start a fight on somebody in a pub. Yet there are certain people who do. It doesn't mean you should ban pubs. It's like saying you should ban cars because there might be an accident, you know? Uh, and somebody might die. It, it, it just doesn't make any sense. And this idea that they're really trying to come down on free speech here but anyway this guy dr john synot s-y-n-n-o-t-t -T, he's the one who's um running this course and basically like i said i mean you can i'm not even going to bother reading the article because I've, I've just skimmed over it before but basically they're using this kind of false paradigm and a false narrative and the thing is i think he could be back in a bit of a turkey here because Unless he's just doing it to be the controversial pro McCann side. This was this came out in February, like I said, yeah? This came out in February 2017. But you see, the point is that if they're actually going to hang their academia on, you know, the, the, the reputation of the university, on the fact that McCann Phase 2, which is a hashtag which I came up with, which, which is M. C C A N N P H A S E two, yeah, the number two, which is where they're going to start rinsing more distraction news out of the McCann story or alleged story. Let's not get into whether it's all completely made up anyway, which it is. But they they're gonna it's distraction news. It doesn't matter, you know, like it's children occasionally go missing. It's not it shouldn't be world famous news just going on and on and on and on and on and on. Other children have gone missing, you know, they haven't spent all this money on it. And the idea you'd spend all that money on a cover-up, it's just, it's beyond belief stupidity, anyone who thinks that. They're fucking idiots. Absolute fucking idiots. Because there's just no way you would. Uh, you just, there's loads of ways to easily cover things up. And the other thing is, would they announce that they were spending all that money? And when the police spend money, uh, or, you know, they get more money to spend on it, what is it? Is it like the Prime Minister hiring a courier or going going in his car down the road to Scotland Yard, like a couple of hundred metres down the road, and giving him a big bunch of cash and say, what, well, take on some new officers. No, he's not. It's all kind of internal, you know, it's internal money allocation. And all of that can just be completely made up. You know, is it 
with tax, without tax. You know, it, 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 it's just so. It's and people go, oh no, they've agreed uh, to pay, pay some more money for it. So it, it, it's just complete distraction news. They can just literally have a day of headlines by just saying the government has decided to give Scotland Yard another eighty grand for the Madeleine McCann case, and then they don't have to worry about any more news for that day. That's this is the problem here, right? So anyway, <clears throat> if you go down here. They're basically trying to say tech giants must tackle cyberbullies or face curbs. Now, right, let's get back to this Lily Allen thing, right? If people were taunting her, right, about a baby dying of hers, right, that is very, very, very clearly covered under malicious communications and the Harassment Act, right? It is, it's very quick, you look these two acts up, um, or I don't know what the Malicious Communications, that would be the Malicious Communications Act and the 97, 1997 Protection from Harassment Act. And I think it will take you about two, three minutes to read that that's... If she finds it alarming and distressing, all she has to do is phone up the police and tell them, I don't want them doing this. And as a result of that, she can get an order on that person, they'll find out who it is and they'll have to stop and if they don't, they'll go to prison. So why on earth she'd have to involve Twitter with it? It's just it's just insane. She wouldn't have to. She doesn't have to. It's complete nonsense. They already have the legislation for this, yeah? The test is she feels it causes her alarm and distress. And then if they said, oh, well, actually, we've got a good reason for saying whatever we allegedly said, then there might be some case there, like if they thought she'd killed the baby or something. But I don't think they're saying that she's anything like that. So... If they have just been basically being nasty and they're just a bit deranged and odd, then there's no need to invent new laws because there already is laws in place and these laws exist and, you know, they're not hard to use and all you have to do is phone the police up and they'll deal with it um, if they want to. And if she's famous, they're going to do it, trust me. And, and also under the harassment route, yeah, you've got a civil and criminal route. So she could also... Um, file in the court just to say, you know, find out who these people are, and stop them for stop them from writing this stuff and report, and you know, get them to take it off the internet because it's, it's causing a you know alarm of distress, which I can understand if the story's true, which probably isn't. Um, let's just say it is though, for argument's sake. Entertain, you know, the story. The, the, the legislation's already there, so it's totally unnecessary. Anyway, so I've I've tweeted to this guy. Dr. John Sin at Synop today, and also his university. Give me a second, I'll tell you. My tweets and reply. Right, what we've got here. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Right, yeah, on his profile. Quick, we might as well go to his profile. We'll have a quick look. He's not a particularly old guy, is he? I think he's even younger than me, isn't he? He doesn't look very old. Yeah, look, it says Inve investigative psychologist. Right? He's not investigative at all, is he? The nonsense he was putting in that article, he's not. Um, senior lecturer in psychology and an assistant director in the, the Masters of Science in investigative psychology. So this is all complete and utter bullshit because nothing he said implies he's got any investigation ability and he's completely impartial, unimpartial. And if you put that stuff in an actual, um, uh, you know, a police notebook, the nonsense he's put in, it wouldn't even be allowed in the notebook because everything's completely biased, right? So, I've said to him, but yeah, but also he said, sorry, sorry about this, right? Yeah, he's also said this thing, which they always put, but just think about this because this will make a lot of sense, right? All views my own, right? So what does it say there? Do Dr. John Sinop, and his actual little code is... JPL Sinop, right? So that's him. Well, who else's views are his views going to be? So what's happened is, by him putting all views of my own, he's basically admitted that often his views aren't his own, he doesn't know what he's talking about, he's not a serious grown-up, and no doubt he's either just thought that's clever, it's like writing without prejudice on something, it's just completely legally irrelevant to anything... And it's like a kind of code that you're in the little club of dickheads. That's what it basically is. It's as simple as that. Who think that they can put these little lines, like magic words, like a free man on the land kind of idiot. And then it makes them somehow like immune immune from any legal ramifications. But 
There is no legal ramifications. He's just an idiot running a completely ridiculous course who nobody should even be going on. He should just get sacked. But of course, the real truth is they will have put him on that course. He kn he knows full well what he's doing is completely wrong and his course is a farce and what he's doing is a complete farce. And he's going along with it and that's why he's writing stupid things like views of my own. It's it's just it's beyond belief how people are still going along with this nonsense. But I will add, most lawyers, if they're on Twitter, will put views my own. Right, anyway. So, yeah, I got banned from a um, Facebook group. That I, yeah, sorry, sorry. So anyway, this Thomas barden Reese told me about this. Uh, well, didn't tell me, put a video up. And I've said to this JPL Sinot, I've copied the video on. I've said, complied and lied that all views are your own. Uh, double colons telling anti-intellectualism and then I've linked to the video and put not no Travis on it and Thomas Barden Reese. Not Travis is um someone who doesn't believe and he's actually a genuine psychological investigator, very clearly. He's very bright this guy is, and he's just said, Well there's just no evidence that anything in any of the stories pro and against the McCanns make any sense. Right now, this is linking to the article that the new universities put up in February of this year, the twenty you know, twenty seventeen. This, an advert for a degree course, yet with less info than on the back of a cornflake, on the back of cornflakes, it's tel and it's telegraph biased, right? Then I sent a, a follow-up one, just because it's hard to get your story out in one go. Um, Huddersfield University openly advertised online suit. Oh, sorry. Huddersfield University openly advertised openly. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, Huddersfield University openly advertise overtly pseudoscience course courses featuring pejorative and text and biased text language. I don't know what's wrong with me today, why I can't read. And then the last one. Oh no, no, that's that's not really any, not really relevant. But anyway, so yeah, because this this other one about the dogs. I just noticed this picture of the dogs again. Where is it? The dogs. It's just this stupidity. I mean, like, so you kill a girl in one room and then you've got her in all these random places. Surely you wouldn't spread blood all around and just only forget to clean. Yeah, it's just it's all to do with these dogs and stuff, and it's it's just it's just idiotic because the idea that you'd just be finding random bits of blood everywhere it doesn't really make any sense. You you wouldn't be moving the little fucking kid around whilst you were cleaning up after you'd killed it. Well, you could killed it with a knife or something. It's it's all just completely stupid. And the idea that you're going to stab someone and then get blood spots like two or three meters away across the side of the room it's definitely not going to happen. It's a little kid, is it? Because Little kid's not going to thrash around on that that much. But anyway, um, back to this article, right? It's www.hud.ac.uk News 2017, February. Exploring the world of Madeleine McCann trolls. It's totally unimpartial, unscientific text, text language with pseudoscience, a false narrative and a false, if you like, test to you know for their actual research to claiming to be doing research into this it's absolutely insane if you just read it it's like trying to put fake science on top of a load of twit um on top of a load of text language and pseudoscience and then make it look like it's scientific it's like something uh, dr kinsey would do you know like um pay a load of pedophiles to rape some children and a load of prostitutes to like um, homosexual prostitutes to get sodomized and then sort of try and make out it's some kind of scientific research by putting in like tables of how long it takes them to have orgasms and all that kind of stuff it's just absolute nonsense anyway right I've been Tom Carhill um, this is a very important this is a very important step to said because it's just like Hillary Clinton actually promising as a liberal and a lefty to invade Iran that is just absolutely you know, it's a complete new low, a new level of insanity in politics. This is a new level of insanity in politics because this thing, he's put this out there. This guy is obviously being persuaded because he's not, he can't be that stupid if he's, well, he maybe is. It, there's no way he can have put this out there without realising this just basically says, I have absolutely zero scientific um, credibility and I have no intellectual um, honesty or any honesty whatsoever. And I'm just a little um, gimp who's just going to do everything I'm told and start pretending to be a scientist or a psychiatrist. And he's saying he's an investigator. 
like something like Brian Cox would do or like the people at Demos like Jamie Bartley who used to go to school with me it's it's just at the absolute low lowest ebb and it means that these people have obviously been guaranteed to get work forever and ever and ever and of course if he ever changes his mind would admit the truth so basically this guy will struggle now to get into a go into a pub because he'll start having people going did you write that stupid article what what or they'll just go in and pretend to be his friend and ask him questions about it and you know they'll be able to catch him out and he'll it, you know you wouldn't be able to go and have a pint because if you went and had a pint somebody might call you trick you into saying something stupid and then ridicule you about it and then they'll have to sack you it's 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 like it's like normal life um, normal life and normal career suicide to do this kind of stuff and yet there's there's just no end of these scum who are just quite happy to do it and I, I just don't I just think it's something should be you know very much looked into and you know be completely disapproved of anyway thank you my name's Tom Carhill it's 1303 GMT plus one and it's Saturday the 6th of May 2017 thanks for watching um, and let me know what you